Hello everyone and welcome back to Hogwarts Mystery. In the last one we had a failed audio recording that erode and could not be recovered, but I'm happy to say that I'm back in real life audio recording. Thank goodness for that. Um, in this one we have the choice, I think I have a choice, between um, going to search the corridor, because I have a feeling that not only are the side quests we're going to do, I'm also sure that this one is also going to require energy, so it's basically going to be a choice between these two quests. And there is the side quest here, which we already are close to, as far as I can see, finishing. So, I... Th I don't know. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know which one you should go with. I kind of feel to go with this, because I'm kind of intrigued to see what these guys are gonna do to the Slytherins, because Hufflepuffs are not really known to prank. Like, the only pranksters at Hogwarts I know of from storytelling is the Weasley twins and Peas. Like, that, those are the tricksters. So, um, I think I should go over this and see if we have to use energy, and if we don't have to, then fortunately we can go search the corridor, but we will have to see, wait and see how far we can go. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, Hufflepuff helps. Your prefect has called an emergency house meeting, and we actually already had one last year about how we could help around, help Professor Sprout with her daily doing. I'm pretty sure we had that. Huh. Task two of three. Attend the house meeting, Hufflepuff Dungeons. Okay, so we will be attending the house meeting. And we will just have to see what's gonna lie beyond that. Oh, people want to talk to us again. Oh, it's nice. Someone is not facing us, he's just looking in the corner, so what's he doing? Second year. Someone needs to tell those Slytherins how to play fair. Hmm, fascinating. I like he, he states, someone needs to teach the Slytherins. Not him. No, he, he's too buried in his books. Or at least it looks like it with the pile of books that he has. Anywho. Then of course we have Penny over here. Penny. Wait until I get... I tell you about the new potion I have brew been brewing. Oh, she's creating her own potions? Well, that's interesting. So, what potion is that gonna be? Yeah, I'm gonna look forward to seeing what that is. Mm hmm. And then, of course, we have. I think it's Rowan. Yes. I couldn't see if it was the other one. Uh, the other Hufflepuff or Rowan who wanted to talk to us. Anywho. I love seeing so many Hufflepuffs scattered in one place. Yeah. It actually feels rather cozy when we're that many. Right. There is a good little handful of people here. That's nice. I'm not even wearing my Hufflepuff uh, outfit, but that's okay. We are off school, or it, it's free time, so I'm not required to wear my school clothing. <laughs> Jane said so back in the day where our school clothes got torn and all that, that we needed to wear our school clothes, which has never really been seen in Harry Potter, but anyway. Hmm. So, we will be attending. Sometimes we Hufflepuffs can be too nice. We have accepted Slytherin's lies and treachery, treachery for far too long. Oh, she seems so stern. And I kind of like how the Hufflepuff crest is just at the back. So she's kind of like the emblem of Hufflepuff, just right there. Right there. That's nice. <laughs> I suppose it's true. Oh, Rowan. I suppose it's true that we're always losing. Uh, they're always losing us house points and cheating at Quidditch. I feel bad for that day where there's actually a very talented Slytherin who's not cheating or doing anything of that sort, and then just has to take the blame for everyone else, I guess. Uh, that, that was sad. We need to show them that we can stand up for ourselves, and they cannot take advantage of our kindness. Oh, she's very stern indeed. She's a perfect prefect, I would say, uh, in the part of she, like, 
this is not okay, we need to do something about it. Not tell the teachers, we're gonna do about it. <laughs> we don't need to tell, we don't need to tell the professors, we will handle it as students. <laughs> <laughs> Even though that we just are, oh, hopefully she doesn't know that, but Ro and I just made the shenanigans of went going into the Slytherin common room. <laughs> that was not so smart. But I like being kind. Yeah, I know, Rowan, you like to be kind a lot. Yeah. But it's probably also where you're, like... I, I think with both Ben and Rowan, they're too kind for their own good. You can be kind, you can be gentle, you can be all these sorts of things. But someone will always try to take advantage of that, so you have to also sometimes show your teeth and say, that's not okay. And that was a bad metaphor saying teeth, because I know there's werewolves in this world as well. So don't show your teeth, because that might be signaling something else. Be bad. <laughs> All we need is a plan to put them in their place. Oh. So we have to be brainstorming. So we definitely are going to use Inji in this one, definitely. Or... We could teach them that the value of patience and loyalty. Oh yeah, patience and loyalty are the trademarks of the Hufflepuffs. And that's kind of also very ominous like qualities to have because patience. That means you can wait for your revenge. And loyalty is, if you mess with my friends, I'm gonna rip you out. But that's probably why we have a badger as our crest uh, animal. That's probably why, because badgers are... I think I was talking about this before, but we have badgers in Denmark, and if you go near, anywhere near, if you know there's a badger, do remember to take eggshells in your wellies, because they will keep on biting till they hear a snap, and they don't care if it's eggshells or your bones. <laughs> so that's, that, that's, a, that's a rule of thumb when you go into the woods, if you know there is a badger family, because they are actually protect it. You're not allowed to shoot them, you're not allowed to hurt them, harm them or anything because that can be a fine. And I've actually heard of one case where it ended up being a prison sentence. So do not mess with the badgers, that's just a fool of fun. <laughs> Anywho, let's continue on here. Are you sure you're going to be able to get a get revenge, Ruin? Oh, wait, what? Are you sure you're going to be able to help us get rev- Oh, get revenge, Rowan? Hmm? Or oh, are you too kind? She'll be f- <laughs> I like our- I like our attitude. Oh, she will be fine. Rowan will do anything to help a Hufflepuff. I like- I like she's like wearing the school clothes and we're wearing like this ancient-esque a code of armor or wizard armor or something that has like slightly scaly patterns to it so it looks like we are a dragon fighter like we're just like oh yeah she would do fine I remember the battle of something and she did well she went back to school and I continued to hunt dragons or something of the sort <laughs> oh no anyway Oh yes, it is definitely a energy usage. We need one star to pass. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to do that without a problem. So, let's see here. Oh, we can walk around. Ooh! Oh, there's a cozy pile of pillows! What is this one? Why do we want to examine the plant? I don't get it. What is the remark for that? It's like we get to bring herbology class back to our common room. Yeah, but it doesn't really have anything to do with the with the with with the whole matter at hand, now does it? What does the couch say? Examine couch. Why are we examining things? Why are we supposed to try and plot our revenge? It's kind of like, oh yes, we're going to plot something. Um, let's see. Oh, under this pillow, we find something. Oh wait, that's nothing to do with what we're actually trying to do. <laughs> what? Oh no. Okay, examine couch, what is it gonna say? This has to be the comfiest couch in the entire world. Well, he does actually look like it, but it's more probably because of wear and tear and 
probably also magic. We don't know. Everything is kind of magical in that world, so the comfiest couches could probably be a charm or some sort. You cast on the couch, and you go like, "I will never leave this couch." <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is bad. I'm overly tired. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Look at Rowan. See what she has to say. I can tell Rowley really wants to water these plants. So she's really not into getting revenge. She's just want to be kind and help out the plants. That's fine. Ask a question. That's a Ooh, that's a fiver. That's nice. We can use a fiver. Who decided to the ceiling should be so low? I find it to be quite cozy, I think it was said. I didn't manage to read all of it, but I'm pretty sure it's cozy or soothing. One or two. Anywho. Uh Oh, we have the plant again, in and us. Ask a question. The protect over that the main, over the mental pill shows Helga Hufflepuff toasting with the Hufflepuff, probably the Hufflepuff uh, cup, which she had back then. Uh, for some reason, those uh, speech bubbles disappear too fast, so I can't actually read them. So I'm assuming the rest of the sentences out of the knowledge that I might have. <laughs> Concentrate. It's difficult to concentrate with all these wonderful plants. I feel it very like I find the best study areas with with plants. If there's no plants, I don't really find any area soothing to study. That's probably because my house is full of plants and I found it. I find it so soothing. I am a Hufflepuff. <laughs> like I'm just. That's the plan over there, over there, up there, and over there. <laughs> oh no. Okay. So we have the plan. Oh, the pillows! Can we jump in them? Please say we can jump in them. Oh, it's cushions. Pillows, cushions, close enough. <laughs> Not at all, anyway. Why would someone leave the accept acceptance letter in there? Shouldn't that be in your chest in your room? I'm pretty sure there's a chest in front of the beds. At the bedpost. Or at the bed bottom of the bed, there is a chest where you can throw your stuff. Hmm. I don't know. Search the couch. What's in the couch? There's a lot of marshmallows in there. Yeah, don't eat them! Don't eat them if they're in there. Okay. And we out of energy. However, we can go search for more energy. And with yet another castle full of energy, we can now continue on our little dialogue here, which is probably it doesn't really have anything to do with planning a revenge, more like it's more observation of the room that we're in. Quite fascinating actually. <laughs> so what does Rowan have to say? And it's a fiver, so that's a good one. Oh don't mummy, I just didn't matching what life would be as a bumblebee. Rowan is not into making a revenge plan. <laughs> she kind of like just spaced out completely. She's like, oh, revenge? Butterflies, bumblebees, plants need water. Oh, what's under the cushions? <laughs> We're kind of doing the same, really, to be honest. That's the two. We don't need a two. Oh, <laughs> doesn't matter. We got a two. So that needs some cushion. I can't imagine Snape relaxing on these cushions. Or anyone. Anyone, really. Oh, I, would, I would say I could probably take a nap there, but with my black eyes I can play, basically take a nap anywhere. Sadly as it is. Oh news! We are basically stuck a little bit. Oh my. So let's see what Rowan is wondering about. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. I wonder why there are other houses up. Always so impatient. Because it's not one of their attributes, dear. <laughs> that's kind. Of, that's that's kind of a thing. Hufflepuffs are known to be patient, and then will hence be that it's not as prominent in the other houses. It's it's you know, it's a thing, I guess. <laughs> Anywho, let's see. Uh, there's another examine couch and another. Oh, it's still. Oh, it's a wonder plant. It's a wonder plan, guys! Let's see here, what does the wonder plan do? I want to take care of the person who takes care of these plants. Well, that's probably Professor Sprout. Or any other Hufflepuff in here. Oh, guys, look, actually, there is a there is a broom in the bag. 
so someone has had flying lessons this day. Well, that's a really nice little detail I didn't see before. That's nice. Alright, so, then we have examining the couch. So what's in the couch? More marshmallows? I don't know. Oh, that's one. This must be the comfort in the Okay, we have already had that one. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, that's lovely. Now it's going to be interesting to find out with all the roundabout way of being or talking that if we actually came up with some sort of revenge. Oh well. Okay, a salesman decided to call me at 9 p.m. in the night. I don't think that is highly improper. <laughs> oh well. I think we have come up with a good plan. However, we were not talking about anything at all. But we have to decide who will take the lead. I am kind of suspicious of how where this is going. It needs to be someone who is powerful and who will remain loyal to us if they get caught by Slytherin or the professors. Ho 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 Jane, you're a cunning little lassie. <laughs> a little cunning, is she? Yeah. Okay, so, oh, we needed 12 points there to get that. Who should we choose? Well, we have the attributes, so let's go. I volunteer, Miss Jane. <laughs> I volunteer, Miss Jane! I will do it, Miss Jane! <laughs> Let's see. I would be honored to lead us against Slytherin and help put them in their place once and for all. Though that we actually didn't have any bother with them and, as I said before earlier in this episode, <laughs> we kind of already uh, made a little thistle out of everything, but okay. With, you know, sneaking into the dominant room and things like that, uh, but okay. Uh -huh. You are as loyal and helpful as they come, Ray. We are lucky to have you in this house. Well, that was not the first thing you said about us. It was just, get the old points back. That was basically what I remember you saying the first time around. Anywho, let's see here. Let's meet in the tower courtyard and show Slytherins that Hufflepuffs are just as happy helpers. Uh, what? Okay, I didn't get the last part. Oh well. Um, we are going to show those Slytherins. Be ready and wait for my signal. Okay, I'm actually going to be very, very intrigued to what is this is going to be all about. So I'll be looking forward to that. Um, but we have. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's the third of the first, so it won't. Um. So it's a three of three, so that would actually mean that we uh, get to go with that. However, I actually think I will be ending off here. It might be a short one this time around, but the other part that we could possibly do will probably also require uh, energy points. And since we have none, it would be kind of pointless, <laughs> point taken, pointless to do such. And I think the interesting would fit better if we do it when we're actually going there. Because we could go and take the introduction scene, but then we have to remember it the next time around, and it, it just fits better to take the introduction scene with the points that you have to use. So, without with that, I think I'll be ending off here, and we'll be ending off looking at how cozy we all are in this room. And on to next time, guys. Take care, and have a fantastic day.